Hello, everyone. This is Sharif Medawar. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, those that don't know me, I want to be very clear. I'm a hedge fund manager. I'm an educator. I am not an attorney or a CPA, although I have attorneys working for me full time and I deal with CPA firms that help us uh, structure uh, fantastic tax structures for our students. And uh, the website for the training company is tmrei.com. You can go to it anytime. And we have the hedge fund website, mixif.com, Medawar International Group Secured Income Fund. The hedge fund, I have investors that actually like to join the fund by investing as little as 25000 You can invest as many millions as you want and pay usually 8% a fixed rate per year. And you can compound that money, and I can show you the power of compounding where you can average over a period of time 20% plus if you keep reinvesting the dividends. Those that are investing in the fund, your actual uh, investment of capital, the whatever amount of money you put, is secured by all the real estate assets in the fund, which is close to $50 million. Very exciting. The call tonight, I want to explain to you a lot of exciting things about flipping real estate. I have received a lot of great feedback on the book I wrote that was published on Amazon, still on Amazon, Blue Ocean Opportunities in Commercial Real Estate, as opposed to bloody ocean opportunities, I guess, in commercial real estate. Blue ocean is when you go to your own area, create your own opportunities, and make a lot of money with practically no competition, and I'll talk about that on this call today. And uh, I had the privilege uh, of rolling out a book, and um, Forbes, has, Steve Forbes himself, had selected about 70 uh, wealth advisors around the country, and I was number one. Actually, the chapter one in the book is Steve Forbes. I am in chapter two. Very proud of this. It is when I met uh, Steve Forbes in New York. I did a speech, and those that are uh, registered on the call, you will be getting an e-book copy of the book. I think you will enjoy the 12 steps of financial freedom that I wrote. Originally, I wrote this as a blog, believe it or not, for my nephew, uh, my uh, sister's son who was going to college, and he asked me what steps I had followed to become wealthy, and it just really struck a nerve, and I said, this is wonderful, let me, let me really spell it out, and then I put it in a blog, and the rest was history. A uh, wonderful book, we've got a lot of feedback from people on it, and I'd like you to enjoy it as well, and we'll be sending you a copy. By the way, I do... Um, speak with billionaires and very high net worth people, and I help people for tax structures. Um, there was a big event in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has offered some uh, uh, very strategic uh, tax structure to the U.S. Congress. Puerto Rico is part of the United States. It's a U.S. territory. And uh, I was one of the guest speakers. And by the way, on the right side, here you see my photo with John Paulson. John Paulson is one of the richest people in the world. His net worth is $12 billion. His fund is the Paulson Fund. He is the one that bet on the actual real estate economy, uh, real estate prices to go down. And needless to say, he made a killing. His fund is worth $22.5 billion, separate from his own net worth. He came over. I was just finishing the speech. It was a very short speech about how to get structured in Puerto Rico, reduce taxes. Came around the table. He stood up, shook my hand. Thank God my attorney who was available with a camera took a snapshot. On the left side, you see, you see Nicholas Prouty, the hedge fund manager for the Putnam uh, Bridge Funding, a fund worth $18 billion. By the way, both of these billionaires, along with seven other billionaires set up in Puerto Rico and reduced billions of dollars in taxes legally under the U.S. tax structure and reinvested their money. And we have a turnkey structure we're helping. There was 205 other multimillionaires, high-income people. If you're making 150000 plus and you want to reduce your taxes, you can always be made the office, and uh, we can help you structure. So I am really proud of this. I've structured it for many years, been blessed by the IRS, etc. So there are great ways for us to help people, and we've done it through our training company. And I started as a hotel manager. For those that don't know me, I was a very young uh, manager trainee at the Century Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles. And how did I become such a high net worth individual with a hedge fund and having my own portfolio of commercial property worth over $50 million in my own portfolio? And, uh, you know, rubbing shoulders with uh, people like uh, Forbes and Paulson. By the way, when I'm standing this photo, you can see the chateau. This is the Chateau de Madame de Pompadour. This is in the Loire Valley in outside Paris. This uh, residence is worth $100 million. There was an article written about it on April 24th in Forbes last year. 
and it's owned by Edmond Bessari, the billionaire that was at the hotel in 1980 and asked me to go and work for him. How did I become so knowledgeable, so wealthy? I worked for a billionaire in the name of Edmond Bessari. You see him right here standing next to Ronald Reagan many years ago. This photo was taken in the 80s. Mr. Bessari is now uh, close to his, uh, let's say, just around his 80s. He's still alive, thank God. He's a good man. I learned a lot from him. I worked for him for eight and a half years. I still do every now and then uh, some slight business with him, for him, etc. Very pl proud to have had that man as a mentor, a very honest man, a wonderful uh, mentor. Very difficult to deal with if you're not sharp and, and fast. You won't put up with anything. And uh, just a um, wonderful experience. I, in 1999, I decided to actually create my own training company as I made millions on my own and started sharing with people how to create their own wealth. Ten years later, in 2009, created my own hedge fund as investors and students came to me and said, let's invest with you. Those that are on this call in this session, I want to cover with you how you can flip commercial property. Yes, we know about flipping residential. You get some property below comparable sales. You fix it up. You turn around and sell it. You make money. You pay some taxes. Then you move on to the next deal. Wonderful life. Who doesn't want to flip residential? It's always good. But flipping commercial is very, very exciting. I want to give you different types of commercial real estate so you're fully aware what I'm talking about and that it's an endless opportunity, endless types of, of property. You can have office properties. I mean, heck, you can get big office space. You can get one office condo. You can get a residential property that has been rezoned to office. Uh, this is huge potential. Office space could be a property that you get and you lease it to a doctor. You can lease it to an attorney. You can lease it to a CPA, an insurance broker. And they will pay you a triple net. That means they pay the lease. They pay tax, insurance, maintenance. You can buy these vacant. You can put a tenant. You sell them. You buy them. You fix them. You sell them. Beautiful way to do office space. Industrial is where you have warehouses, etc. Industrial use like industrial parks, maybe they can do, um, uh, like in Silicon Valley, we have a lot of industrial properties that you can uh, work with. The retail properties, you can have uh, many different types of retail. Medical, you can have um, hospitals, uh, small hospitals, big hospitals. And nursing homes, these are also a phenomenal way to make a lot of money. Storage facilities, um, storage facilities are a lot easier than apartment buildings, in my opinion, because really you get... Um, uh, just a lot of people that want to store their stuff. There is nobody living there and sleeping there. So you can get a land pretty inexpensive next to an airport where it's noisy, next to railroad tracks where it's not so uh, desirable for condos. Put storage facilities, and guess what? People have a lot of stuff that they would like to store, so they actually store it, and you can make a lot of money. You can make money with storage by actually taking a big storage facility and condominiumize it creating separate units and selling them individually. This is huge. You can even create storage facilities that are high-end. You can do large storage facilities for boats. People get crazy about their boats. You can do storage facilities for wine, etc. By the way, I have a whole training on 12 different types of commercial real estate on the website called the Commercial Real Estate Roundtable, following a very specific method on how to find, analyze, control, and time the process as well as strategize to make money with all these different types. Small business owners can make a lot of money with different types of commercial properties. Land development is huge and endless potential how you can structure it. I got to tell you, land development is such an opportunity. A lot of people don't know what they're doing. They buy the wrong land or they buy land that can be developed or they buy land that they cannot be entitled. But it's an art and it's a science, but it's huge. And you can flip land. You can actually make a lot of money with land. Mobile home parks, an endless opportunity. Uh, some people think there is a lot of competition. And it, let me tell you, endless opportunities with mobile home parks. You can do with one mobile home uh, or manufactured home, if you will. Some people get offended when I say mobile home. They want it called manufactured home. Uh, until there is a hurricane, then they realize it is mobile. But anyway, <laughs> mobile homes could be very profitable. You can buy them one at a time, fix them sell them, carry loads, carry financing. The flipping of mobile homes could be very profitable. I'm going to go into some more strategies on how to flip these types in a minute here, but I want to go over more type of commercial properties. Hotels, motels. I love hotels and motels. Love them. They are, in my opinion, one of the best improvements on any land. Why? You can change the rate nightly. 
If you get desperate, change it hourly. No, just kidding. You got the idea. Hotels, motels. If it gets bad, you can do extended stay. You can get a brand like Hilton to run it for you. You can get a, a, a hotel uh, that you can get partners with it. You can do syndication, raise money for hotels. People understand it. There are some companies that, lending companies that specialize in hotel financing. Restaurants, standalone restaurants, if you like to have that. Restaurants, big business, commercial real estate, where you can have restaurants. Strip centers. Strip center is when it's a busy street and you have like five, six tenants that are there leasing. Malls, big malls. Outlets, these are the discount um, uh, properties that usually you can see them standalone or maybe clustered into strip malls. Outlets are the discount um, uh, retail. Movie theaters, big money movie theaters. A friend of mine did a deal in San Jose, California. I mean, I couldn't believe he got the theater, started advertising. People would lease it for corporate meetings, for presentations, etc., and then ended up reselling it, made a killing profit. Marinas, endless profits on marinas, almost like mobile homes, but they're in the water. You get boats, you can service the boats. There is a lot of extra residual income. Senior care facility, also called residential care facility, hence the RCF there. Residential care facility you can take residential homes and up to six beds, you don't have to rezone them in, rezone them in parts like California. Residential care facilities, you can buy the, buy the residential home, get the approval for, to get it to be residential care, and as soon as you make it happen, residential care, you can start charging things like 3000 per bed. This is huge. There is some expense associated with it, some liability. If you know what you're doing, you can make them happen, turn around, flip them, sell them if you don't want to keep them. Recreational facilities. But my favor of all is single tenant retail buildings. Why? Simple to assess value, simple to add value, simple to flip, simple to keep, simple to refinance, and I'll talk more about it here in a second. But for all these types, there is a system that I follow. I created the system in 2003, patented, called the FACT system. People like to know what's the business model, Sharif. What do I do first? What do I do second? What do I do third? And here is the opportunity. Think in terms of facts. Let's get to the facts. F-A-C-T-S. F for find. You've got to find a great deal on a property, and you've got to find the tenants. Remember, the tenants are what make the commercial building a commercial building. They pay rent. They are the oxygen of the financial world. You got cash flow, you got survival and prosperity. You got a beautiful building that a desperate seller sold to you, you got a problem and good luck. And if you're in that situation, you will become the desperate seller and we're gonna get you. Analyze, analyze the numbers. Analyze the numbers on the property. Analyze how much will the property produce in income. It may be sitting vacant. What am I analyzing? I am working backwards. This property is going to produce 8,300 in income per month times 12 months. That's going to produce 100,000 a year in income. 100,000 a year in income in this area, people are paying a million dollars for 100,000 net profit. That property is going to be worth a million. It's sitting vacant. Oh my gosh. I can maybe buy it at 700,000 vacant. You get the tenants that will pay 8,300. And guess what? I can flip it at a million. If I bought it at seven, flipped it at a million, I got 300,000 profit. So I'd like to unwrite the numbers. What will it produce in income? And what do I have to do? How much would I have to spend to get there? And then I work backwards. I want to put it on this contract. I want to do this and that. I'm going to go into details with you in a minute. Local trend. I don't know what's the trend in that area. If I'm buying an office building or an office space, I don't know, are there a lot of office spaces vacant? Are there more? Uh, business people coming in, are the business people moving out, are there more employers? I want to know the local trend, and you can ask, you can observe, you can look at statistics, you can study, you can talk to brokers. Local trend is very important. Yes, you can make money buying below market, adding value, but if you also get the trend on your side, what a beautiful opportunity when you flip properties. I'm not talking about buying and hold here now, I'm talking about flipping, buying and selling and making the money now, increasing whatever credit lines and turning them into cash, or increasing the little cash into big cash. And then you're going to buy and hold and change your life where the assets will keep pumping income for years to come, and one deal will change your life. Okay, I got too excited. I am very excited today. I had a, had a very exciting day, though, by the way. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Control the property. If you found a good deal, and like the numbers, they make sense, you control it. How do you control it? You learn how to negotiate. It's all about communication, quid pro quo. Yes, you got to do a win-win. Sometimes the people you're dealing with want to do a win-kill. That's when you move for the throat. And you make an offer, you tie up the property, you get it under contract. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. Commercial property, get it under contract. How am I going to do that? I got to have proof of funds. I got to have cash. I got to have, you see, because in commercial, you don't have what's called a pre-approval letter. The property has to approve. You see, but I'm going to solve that for you. I'll show you how to make offers and, and they take you seriously and you can lock in a property all the way up to $10 million. I don't care if you're bankrupt. I'm going to show you right now how to do it in a minute here. So find the property, analyze the number, control it, put it under contract. Once you control it, you have 30, 45 days, maybe even 60 days to change your mind. You're going to time the process during that time to get a tenant. If you get a tenant lined up, if you have an apartment building, you're going to get more tenants. If you have a, a storage facility, you're going to get a tenant for it or more tenants. If you have a mobile home park, you're going to get tenants to come in. If you have um, um, you know, any type of property, you want to increase the tenants because it's going to increase the income. The due diligence is how much these tenants are going to do, what type of tenants will come in, etc. Then you can create the right, get the right financing. You can see if seller will finance, bank will finance, specific lenders will finance, hard money lenders will finance, or create their fund like I have a fund. We show people how to do syndications as well, but that's a whole different subject. For now, let's talk about flipping it. And once you get it, you just want to get out. You can even get hard money. You don't care. You're not holding it at the 12%, 14% interest. And you want to close. If you're going to buy and sell, you want to close and strategize. While you're looking for somebody to buy it from you, you're going to have to manage it. Maybe manage the process of rehab, manage the process of finding somebody else, etc. And the money is in taking the property to its highest and best use. Taking the property to highest and best use is an art and a science. And let me explain to you something. The way to take a property to its highest and best use is don't think property, think business. The commercial property is a business that is housed in it. So if you have a retailer, if you have a hospital, if you have something, you can increase that business. That can increase that income for the property. You focus on increasing the income that the property produces. You just increase the value of the property. You can pay a price of 700000 but you can create a value of an additional half a million you walk away half a million. Couple of these like this, you're a millionaire. I'm talking about if you know how to avoid taxes also. Because the problem with flipping is you pay a lot of taxes, but we resolve that. We have Puerto Rico structures. We have asset protection structure. We have ways for you to reduce taxes. That's going to be the least of your problems. Learn how to make money first. Learn second how to reduce your expenses on taxes. And third, let me help you also do the asset protection. So let's talk here specifically finding the best deals possible. We need distressed sales, distressed properties, or distressed sellers. Let's talk about this. I'll give you 10 ways. I can go on and on on these distressed sales, but I'll give you an idea. Vacant property, no matter the type of property, think an apartment building. If it's sitting vacant and it's no income, can you steal that deal? Yes. Of course. What if it's a retail property? Of course. What if it's uh, you know, just a warehouse? Long Beach. There was a gentleman that had a furniture company trying to find a place. He found an empty warehouse. The student of mine was in the training. He said, I'm going to lease this space. I said, are you crazy? It's empty. You're going to be the tenant. Why are you going to lease it? you got to go and buy it or lease it with an option to buy. He said, oh, my gosh, what a great opportunity. The seller is in distress. The renter is in distress. The landlord has no income. Come in. You're going to provide the income, lock in a price, and you will add value to the property. Find properties with high debt obligations. These are upside down. Ask the seller, can I talk to the bank? I'm going to help you get out. Negotiate. Then you have to get the seller's approval because of Privacy Act for him or her to tell you, talk to my bank. They tell the bank, listen, I'm approving Sharif Medawar to talk on my behalf so you can settle this. How about the distress state where a property is soon going to be vacant? Let's say it's a big warehouse going to be empty. It's an office space going to be empty. It's a retail space going to be empty. That's a huge opportunity. We can jump in, lock it in under contract, line up another tenant, and make money. Distressed situations are divorce. Have you ever seen people going through divorce? Well, they get so obsessed about the problem that they don't care about anything else anymore. It's pretty sad, but we can help these people. We can help resolve their problem. We can come in. We can work a partnership with them and flip their property. They can think that inside the problem, we're outside observing and we're guiding. But you've got to know how to... Make it happen with proper paperwork. Disputes and lawsuits create distressed situations. These are opportunities for you to help the people make money. Death, inheritance, especially if you have people out of town or out of the country and they inherit it. So you can compound, some, compound and combine some of these problems. For instance, 
if you have somebody getting a divorce, has some other disputes and lawsuits, which if he has a problem in one area, he's got problems with other areas as well. Then somebody dies, he inherits a property, doesn't want to deal with it because he's out of, the, out of the country. Then he gets ill. How about that for a combination of problems? They go distressed and depressed. Can we help them? How about somebody with a building that is in default and he's got tenant challenges? Can we come in and resolve that? Every problem is an opportunity. It depends how you look at it. Believe me, the more money you make, the more challenges you have. But if you are trained and if you can think creatively, the challenges are turned into opportunities. And next thing you know, it's all about how I look at it. Property condition can create a huge opportunity for you to do uh, a, a flip. Uh, this, all those on the call that do residential real estate, I know it, you know it. You find a property that needs some rehab, you get it, you fix it, you sell it. The seller is desperate, they don't want to deal with rehab. Heck, in the fund, in the mix of fund, we deal with high-end properties. You would not believe it, $4.8 million property, we bought it. The property is in shambles, but it's a great location. $4.8 million, and there were different bids on it. We got it. We're cleaning it up. We're adding square footage. The property is going to be flipped for a lot more money. Property condition is usually one of the biggest distress situations that you can do something about. So what's the strategy? Now, when we invited you on this webinar, we said there will be three strategies on how to flip a property. Well, you know, I started writing the PowerPoints to share with you, and then I got excited, and then the next thing I know, I got six strategies. I can keep going but it was time to start the webinar. So suffice it to say, there will be six strategies. Get a property under contract, add income, and then assign it. Don't buy the darn thing. Most of you can't afford it. Or if you can afford it, you don't want to use your money. I know it. I hear you. I got a lot of students that started with nothing other than training and in a way to put these together. Let's talk about this again. Get a property under contract, add income, and then assign it. How do you add income? A perfect example Getting a property under contract, let's say, I mean, I'll give you a perfect example, was in North Dallas, there was an opportunity of a property that was a motel running at 16% occupancy. The guy put it under contract, we explained to him how to work out the numbers and all this. The way he added income is he worked with a company that does senior living. They came, they wanted to lease the whole property. Guess what he did? He couldn't afford to buy the property, but he had this company wanting to come in. He was able to assign the property to that company coming in. They didn't have to put more than earnest money deposits, which was very little money. The point is he didn't have the cash to complete the deal. He was able to assign. Assignments are wonderful. In commercial real estate, in my opinion, in my experience, are a lot easier to assign than residential. I'll tell you why. In residential, how can you add income? You can't add income. I mean, it's not... The value of a residential property is not based on the income. It's based on the comparable sales. I tell you, I, I saw some beautiful properties a few years ago on Rancho, in Rancho Palos Verdes. Ocean View, right where the Trump golf course is, they're renting at 3000 a month. Property is a million dollars. What is that? 2% cap? That means the capital works at 2% after you pay expenses? Guess what? But the property is a million dollars. So if next door is selling at 850, that's a slam dunk, put it under contract, and assign it. There is no income here. Problem is, the next guy you're going to assign it to, the next lady that's, in it, that's looking at this to be assigned to her or to him, they say, look, why is my assign getting this from him or her? I'm going to go find my own deal at 850 if there are any like this. In residential, assignments get harder, especially since the 2009 ordeal with the economy going down. But in commercial, there is income that you lined up, there is an assignment opportunity. Number two strategy, get a property under contract, Rehab it and assign it. I'll give you an example. When you put a property under contract, instead of buying it and taking the little cash you have to go put it on payment, just tell the seller, listen, I'm putting this under contract. I'd like, let's say, four months. And what I'm going to do is instead of paying a down payment and cashing you out, I'm going to go in, give me the approval to go and access the property at my own liability and my own risk. I will pay an extra rider for insurance for liability to rehab the space. And what I'm going to do is, if I don't buy it from you within five months, all the work I've done and all this will be yours, and I'll walk away. I lose all the work and all the expense I made. Now, why are you so confident? Because you're going to know what you're doing. You can take motels and do that. You can even, if you don't know how to do construction, you can partner up with a contractor. You can do that in commercial. By the way, you can also do that in residential. 
I remember one time I was doing a presentation in California, and I talked about a property I had just bought in Menlo Park, California. And I said, oh, I need to rehab this. I just hate to do rehab. But anyway, I'll be looking for some people to partner up with me, and I can sell it. One of the students came over, and he said, look, I'm, you know, I'll sign up for the training. I'm a contractor. I don't have the money to buy up a property, but I got a crew, and I got credit cards, and I can go to Home Depot and get all the work done, and my crew will work on commission when we resell it. I said, how wonderful is that? I had the property under contract. I had the approval to go ahead and rehab it. He came in. He did the rehab with his crew, and we turned around, sold, and made money. You don't have to buy it and sell. You can put it under contract, do the rehab, and assign. Contractors on the call, well, you probably enjoy this a great deal. You can also strategize by buying a property, rehabbing it, and selling it. You know you can do that in, in uh, residential. Uh, you know you can do that in commercial. One of the best ways to do, number four, is buy the property, add income, and then refinance. I'll repeat this. I buy property. Let's say you bought a property, 60% occupancy in apartment building. You add tenants. So now you're up to, let's say, 90% occupancy. You add the income for the existing tenants. Now you're up to more cash flow. You go back to the bank. You want to refinance. Now they look at the cash flow. They look at the actual. They look at the performer. Now you can refinance the shop money. Huge. Now, now this could be actually an opportunity when you buy and add income and refinance. This could be an opportunity to work with hard money lenders. And this could be an opportunity to work with some partners. There's nothing wrong with getting partners into this deal. You can also buy and then sell creatively. I remember in 1998, 1999, and 2000, the market was in such a frenzy in the Bay Area that I had decided not to even fix profits. I'd just buy the property, close, and then advertise the property. Seller will carry notes. Seller will provide wraparound. And what it means is people came in to buy, and I just carried the financing. I remember this property, I bought it 450000 in a market that was worth five fifty. How did I do it? I found a distressed seller. She wanted out, she wanted to travel, and she had a health issue, and she told me, I need to close now. I don't have time to go ahead and list it and market it and all this, and I'm saving my commission. If you come in, everybody wins. I, I, I couldn't resist. Bought it at four fifty. Put it actually on Yahoo classified for sale by owner, seller will carry, and I sold it back at 550. The owner got a non income, non qualifier, no income, no asset qualification loan. They got a loan for 450, cashed out the money, and they owed me 100,000 loan. Beautiful deal. In, out, I didn't fix anything in the property. That's the way to flip it, and when you carry notes, you don't pay taxes. It's called unrealized gains. You pay taxes as you receive income. And uh, it's a powerful way to actually make it happen. Now, you delay the taxes on that. Now, the wraparound mortgage, let's say you owe money on the property, you want to turn around and sell it, you can wrap it. That means the person that is buying it from you will make a payment to you, you make a payment to the bank. They don't have to make the payment directly to you, you can put it in an escrow. Escrow will get a payment from the person that bought it from you, let's say 5000 a month, they make the payment to your bank, let's say 4000 and you keep the positive cash flow plus whatever down payment they gave you. Buying and selling creatively is one of the easiest and fastest way to make money if you don't want to rehab properties, which is not for everybody. How about this one? This is for those that are in small business. Small business owners, you're leasing somewhere. Let's say you're an attorney. You're, you're leasing an office. You have a, a little uh, private lending company or something. You're leasing some space. You can go and buy an office condo, you can occupy it, and then you turn around and do what's called a sale lease back. So you sell it for more money than you paid and lease it back. How can you sell it for more money? Well, you're paying the rent, so you pay more rent, value of the building increases, so buyers that are investors that want a steady cash flow will pay more than you paid. By the way, this strategy could be done from hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. So, you know, assigning, selling, buying and selling, buying, refinancing, selling and carrying notes, doing sale lease back, all these are wonderful strategies, but I'm going to tell you where the big money is. I want you to focus on single tenant retail. You know why? Because it's simple. 
it's powerful. You get a single tenant property, this is a standalone property, under contract. You have usually 45 days for due diligence. You can change your mind, walk away with no obligation. Number two, you get a national tenant to send you a letter of intent, meaning I would like to lease from you that building. National tenants want to lease for 10 years, 15 years. Subway doesn't want to come in for six months. I mean, they're going to come and fix the space. They're going to come in and put their brand. They're going to come in and market. They want a commitment that you're going to give them 10 to 15 years. How beautiful is that? So you've got the property under contract. You call some tenants, and one of them tells you, yes, I'm interested. The property value increases based on the income that tenant is going to pay you. You see, the property is vacant. You put it under contract at 600000 Why? They're desperate to sell. You call the tenants. And the tenant tells you here, I'm coming in, I'm going to pay 8300 that's 100000 a year. The property is worth a million. I signed it. You got 400000 in up upward value that you have built in. I signed it, walk away with 40000 to 100000 assignment fee, and repeat. I don't know how many times you need to do something like this, but I can tell you, do it 10 times, you're a millionaire. Do it a few times, you may have half a million. And the beauty is, a few times, pay off your debt. A few more times, buy your own building. Flip it. Then buy the next one and keep it. You see, think about this. Single tenant retail. Can I put it under contract? Add income and assign? Listen to me again. Put it under contract. Line up the tenant that's going to actually occupy the space. You just added the income. Assign it. That's the most assignable asset you can do. A lot easier than a residential property that's sitting vacant that you just rehab. That's a lot easier than trying to deal with apartment building. How about put it under contract, rehab it, and assign it? You can. You can access a retail single tenant property and, and rehab it. You can. You can buy, buy it completely. Buy it. You're going to buy it cheap. If you have the money, you can buy it, rehab it, and then you can sell it. You can buy it, put the tenant, and refinance. I love this one. I've done it so many times. I buy a property, line up the tenants, get the tenant to come in. It adds the income adds the value, and I go back to the bank, say, I'd like to refinance and cash out. And they look, here's the income, here's the tenant. They have 10 to 15 years. These tenants give you corporate guarantee worth millions of dollars, triple net. That means the tenant pays tax, insurance, and maintenance. And the bank says, I love it. You see, this is now, this is a safe loan for the bank. Can you buy retail properties and sell them creatively by carrying a note? Yes. You can do wraparound. You can work. With, with even small business owners. And you, for yourself, you can buy them a retail property, occupy it, sell it, and do a lease back. Very powerful. The strategies on this are phenomenal. End goal is to get a property under contract for as long as possible, usually 45 days to 60 days, add the value of increasing income, and then assign it to my fund. This is a no-risk way to do it. I'm going to tell you why. Listen to me carefully. My hedge fund will give you all the tools and the trainings to do it. I'll give you a proof of fund from my fund for $3.3 million. So when you speak on behalf of the fund, I don't care if you're bankrupt. You see, I told you I'll tell you a way to do it if you're bankrupt. I don't care if you have no money, no income. I don't care if you're a foreigner. I don't care wherever you come from. You want to make money. There is a way to do it. Find the single tenant properties that are in good locations with good neighboring tenants. Put the property under contract. I'll give you a list of national tenants that want to move, that want to grow, that will sign the lease we want, we want them to sign. Now, this could be done anywhere in the country, but I'm not all over the country. So I need the students that are serious, willing to do this in their own backyard. Once you line up the tenant, you have increased the value. My fund is interested to get in on the action. We will pay you an assignment fee. We'll buy it from you. And then we'll go in all cash. Then we either refinance with the bank or we try to get credit lines against them. There is no risk for you. Because once you get the property under contract and line up that tenant, if that tenant is not lined up or tenants don't respond to you, you don't have to buy. You walk away with no risk. You have 45 days to change your, time, your mind. And if you have the money and you learn how to do this, when you line up the property under contract and you talk to the tenants and they get you that letter of intent that they want to rent, you don't have to sign it to me. You want to buy it? Buy it. Use any of the strategies I just shared with you. Flip it and grow your money, and then buy another one and keep it for yourself. So let's repeat. 
This is how you're going to do this, very focused on single tenant retail property. Number one, you're going to communicate with me directly. I'll pay you an assignment fee between 10% to 25% on each deal. Case in point, you get a property under contract at 600000 sitting vacant. You get a tenant lined up. The value becomes $1 million based on the income they're paying. You get an assignment fee of 40000 to 100000 You don't have to rehab anything. You don't have to work hard. The easiest thing I'm giving you is to talk to a seller and tell him, hey, your property is vacant, I'm buying. You're in the business of buying. Represent the fund. If you can't do this, I don't know what else you can do. Number three, you have no downside. If, no, if no tenant responds to your calls based on the training I'll give you and the step-by-step method, business model, I'll give you what to say, what to send them, etc. you have no obligation. You see, you have a contract due diligence period, and you can walk away with no obligation. You put 5000 earnest money deposit, you get it in full. I pay cash as a hedge fund manager, and I'll pay you at the closing through the HUD one, which is the Housing Urban Development Form. When you do a closing in the U.S., you get that form, we're going to pay you. It will be like this. $600,000 cash to the seller. Let's say $60,000 to the assignor, which is you. And then all cash, closing costs so much. And we buy, fund gets in, you're gone, you're done, you go on to the next deal, and let's do more business like this. This is truly, truly the no money down commercial real estate investing with me. I call this the joint venture partner program. This is your dream come true. You know, stop procrastinating and telling yourself, oh, maybe I should do smaller, maybe you should start small. You have no downside on this. You have a huge upside. I am the partner you've dreamed of, and I got the money ready for you. Those that want to do this, I want you to call to reserve your place, because I'm going to limit this to eight people per training. Listen to this. Phone number is 407 408-5448. I want you to call and ask any question you have right now. Your enrollment, this is your investment in yourself. Practically, this basically covers my cost to have the office, the staff, and the support for you. Because here's what you're going to get. An online commercial real estate turnkey system. You can use this for the rest of your life. You're going to get a national tenant list with over 4,000 tenants with their phone number, the size of space they want, the neighboring tenants they like. How would you like to know who should be next to Subway? How would you like to know Starbucks, who they would like to be next to? How about Coach, Tommy and Figure? How about Burberry? How about Pacific Jewelers? All these guys will tell you on my list of tenants that cost me a lot of money to put together, update, and keep it for you so you can go and line up the deals for me so we have symbiotic relationship where you've done some work, I've used the money, and everybody's growing a lot faster. I'll give you a business model with the exact documents that are a package that you send to a tenant after you leave them a voicemail message on the phone. I'll show you how to identify the people to talk to from tenants, how to compete with the biggest malls, how to even compete with the best brokers out there that don't, don't even have a clue about this strategy. I'll give you a proof of fund letter so when you talk, and you submit that $3 million say, I'd like to make an offer on this property, people take you seriously because they will see and know that you represent my fund that has millions of dollars, has been in the market, could be verified on the sec.gov website, and they will see that you are involved with me. I'll give you a full-day training video with an expert tenant who's done a fantastic eight-hour training with a tenant consultant that has taken small tenant companies into multi-million dollar organizations he is a friend of mine. I've known him for 13 years. He honored me in one of the trainings I've done live. We trained it with the role playing. You will see what happens on the phone when I call tenants. If a tenant is nice, if they're argumentative, if they, how they negotiate, you will master this. You can replay it. You will know it. I'll also give you support with question and answers, case studies. You will hear what Tiffany has done, what Daniels has done, what Wei has done. Every person that's involved, and you will get to, to listen in on what questions they ask, and you can ask your questions and get answers instantly. One and a half days with me at my home in San Juan, Puerto Rico, or in Cancun, where you can come in and immerse yourself with a small group, usually it's about five, six people. I told you we never do more than eight because I need to have people in their own backyard. We've got people in the Midwest, in Texas, we have people in New, uh, New York, New Jersey area, we've got people up and down the coast of California, and we need deals and I will personally train you and show you how to do this. Everything is online. 
You'll have the online training. You enroll, enroll tonight. You're going to have access. Right now, you can start watching videos. Within half an hour, you could be already immersing yourself in this. Ready to use documents that you can tailor make for yourself. Word documents you can download, save, get them, own them, make it happen. One on one time with me so you can make it happen. It is the letter. $3.3 million I placed for you, ready to, to make this happen. I'm the owner of the Mixed Fund. It's owned by my corporation, Original Resources. If they have any question, I'm the president of Original Resources, Sharif Marawar. The people, when you make the offer, here's the bank letter. You will get it. You get it with the seal of the bank. You have the bank officers. They'll have my direct line and the bank line that we actually crossed it off right here. So let me review with you to understand. I want you to call the office, 407. 6085448 right now. Enroll. I'll change your life. I'll show you how to go get these deals in your own backyard. There is plenty of them, yet no one knows how to do this. Most brokers want to just list props. They don't know how to put these deals together. I want you to be able to have confidence and move one step at a time toward the goal that we both have, which is you making money, my fund making money, my investors enjoying this. I grow more into the fund and more with my education company. All the work I've done, and we've done quite a few archived calls on this to make sure everybody understands how to do this step by step. We've archived the calls. We've filmed a lot of stuff. It's available for you online. If you don't have to be a master of a million strategies, master this one. Most of the work with retailers is done before the retailer comes in, and once they sign, they pay for 10 to 15 years. There is nothing for you to manage. It's triple net. They pay tax, insurance, and maintenance. There is nothing like it. Compared to anything else in the world, you'll see there is no downside risk on these. I'll share with you very specific investing criteria. So single tenant properties, national tenant list that I'll give you, the terms that I want 10 to 15 years, triple net, that means they pay tax, insurance, and maintenance, and a corporate guarantee. Let me recap. If you find a better value anywhere in the country from a hedge fund manager, somebody doing it, Handing you a letter with millions, dealing directly with banks and hedge funds so you can make the money, go with them. I don't know who's out there doing it. There is nobody doing that type of training. With that simplicity, with that sequence, and exactly supporting you to do it. And if you don't know me or you don't know what I've done, I would invite you to go on YouTube. Just go on YouTube and put Sharif Medawar and watch over 1,000 video success stories of students and investors, brokers, other hedge fund managers, attorneys, CPAs that speak so highly of the training we've done, the money they've made with me, whether through the fund, other programs, etc. They talk about this specific training that we've done, put on in, 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 in YouTube consultation with Sharif Medawar and watch what people said and what they have done after the training was done. We're getting these, we're making it happen. I'm going to give you the turnkey system online, the national tenant list, all the documents you need, the proof of fund letter, the full training video online with the tenant representation, the support to keep you motivated and focused, and one and a half days with me so I get to know you personally. So when we talk to a third party like a tenant or a broker or a big company out there trying to sell a single tenant, I know you, you're aligned with me, and the money is happening. I'm going to give you the bonus. Today, you enroll right now to become a partner with me in this joint venture program. I'll shift to you the full package of commercial real estate roundtable DVDs. Guys, people paid as much as 2995 to attend this. I'm going to throw it in free. We sell them at 995 as a package. I'm going to give it to you. This is a DVD set made to you. Not charging your shipping, not charging your handling. We don't play these games. I want the deals. I don't want to just do trainings. You're going to get this. Enroll tonight, you get it. And let me be very clear. For those who enroll tonight, you want to sleep on it? Okay, go get some sleep, and you can buy these later on. By the way... Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. For Deal Zone graduates only, $49.95, $4,995. You'll get the training on the virtual video here, everything for you, and you can come and spend a day and a half with me in Cancun so we can sit one-on-one -on -one and make it happen. Thank you. You want to know the value? Let me explain to you the value. The Joint Venture Partner Program, you know... $4,995. I'm throwing in all what I just shared with you here, everything turnkey. Commercial Real Estate Roundtable DVD Series, $995. You're getting it at $49.95, including me, live, with support. I want to make the deals. I'm anxious to get the serious people. I don't want you to procrastinate. 
I want you to get going. People pay 25000 50000 to go get trained by people who don't even own a condo. Got a hedge fund with million. My own portfolio of commercial real estate that you would see with your own eyes and verify for yourself is over $50 million of some of the best prime commercial properties and one of the prime best locations in the world. You will see it in Old San Juan, Puerto Rico, where the cruise ships arrive. You will see that I walk the talk and I am the real thing. If you were hoping to make it happen, then let's make it happen. Stop learning and becoming an expert in subject matters that you don't apply. Let's earn. Let's earn and learn. Come over to the training live. Start tonight, 407-608-5448. I am limiting this. I don't want hundreds of people. I'm not doing a live event selling it to 100 people. I'm trying to show you that this is the way out. It's find a deal. Assign it to somebody that's anxious to get the deal. But I can't get any deal you want to assign to me. Get me exactly what I'm looking for. I'll give you all the support you want and then hand it over to me. Cannot make it any simpler. Here it is in Old San Juan, right around the table. The team that came in, got trained, went back to Dallas, made it happen. I toured the properties with you. Here I am pointing at one of my properties. By the way, this property is a small hotel. You will be staying there, by the way. This property is on 250 Crystal, right next to a historic church right here. Just I'll show you step-by-step step downstairs. They have retail space. It's an incredible, incredible opportunity. You prefer to come to Cancun, more convenient for you? No sweat. We just ate. We went across right there, right on the sand, was way, Daniel right here, taking a photo with me. This is right there in Cancun, beautiful beach. I live beachfront, spend the time there with my family. Gorgeous place because I have triple net properties. What does that mean? I have freedom. I'm gonna show you lifestyle, living free without having to worry about money so much because the first deal you assigned to me, the second deal you would do for yourself, set yourself free. It will never get any easier. I wish somebody showed me the way I'm showing it to you. The way I got trained with the billionaire was go make it happen. I had to figure a lot on my own. So I'm going to make it easier for you. I'm going to train you, hold you by the hand, and give you the money as assignment fee. And when you go out there and make it happen, you'll see the value of having the best training in the country for retail single tenant. So don't delay. Call us now, 407 608 Five four four eight. Again, those that want to do this, 407-608-5448. If you prefer to email us, info at cmrei.com. Info at cmrei, and let's make it happen. Get the training from me. Get the support from me. Get the letter, and let's start making money. Thank you so much for your time. Look forward to seeing you in person so we can make it happen.